Hello everyone, I'm back and this time with the unboxing video. I just ordered this Zuka compact disc golf cart from Dynamic Discs and it is the exact frame and insert that I wanted. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. I've already cut the tape open to save a little bit of time, but I'm opening the box up as it is. And you can kind of see some of the things that are in it so far. Here's the bulk of the items within that frame. Here's the handle. Here's the axle. Here are the cup holders. And now the box is empty. So let's go ahead and uh, check the rest of this out. Okay, this is empty. You see this is a black frame. There's little screws. And the Stars and Stripes insert, which is the one that I wanted. Go ahead and pull the wheels out. Here's one or maybe two of the pouches. And then here are the dividers, which I will assemble. Okay, it looks like there's two of these pouches and they have the dynamic discs logo in the front and the Zuka on the side. Same for this one. Dynamic disc logos, Zuka labeling. The tires are jet black, which is great. The handle comes off just like that. All right, here's the axle. There's a little Allen wrench screwdriver that is attached to this axle here that we'll use to tighten the uh, wheels. And here are the spacers that will be used with the axle on either side. The thing you want to do with this little Allen wrench is keep it uh, with you. So maybe keep it in one of these pouches or keep it somewhere else handy uh, near the cart. Last but not least, the cup holders. We need to separate them and then unbag them. And these will attach to the rear of the cart. And typically with this divider, you wanna insert it in such a way where this is on the bottom, this is on the back, and then this kind of uh, is diagonal upwards. This allows you to connect everything and then insert the discs alongside each other. And you can also maybe tuck something down here, but essentially you want all the discs here it fits roughly 15 discs. And then here you can see the pouches on the side. They can fit two to three discs on each side. This side of the axle is fastened, but this side is loose. So this is the side you'd want to unscrew. Okay, so the trick to assembling this is to get these little two divots on this inside of the wheel facing inwards. So you make this wheel the outermost item and then you get this spacer and you bring this in here and then you get this wheel and you do that and then you get this spacer and you get this here. You get this side here, you look for the two divots and that has to face inside. And then you get this and then you tighten it up and you should have those two spaces on the inside, the wheels, and then you can tighten this like so. There you go. And then you use this to tighten this here.
There we go. And that'll prevent that from falling off or minimize the chance it will. And do it here just around the safe side. It's already tightened as I predicted. Now you just need a Phillips head screwdriver for these cup holders to be fastened. You get the screwdriver, you untighten these. All right. I basically start at the bottom. All you want to do is get it on here. All right, let me turn this around to make it easier to see, but these here are what you have to screw and unscrew. And right now I'm working on the second screw here. Got to get it centered. You got to screw it in tightly because it seems like you're forcing it, but you're really not. And then you can tighten this as you need to with this little bolt right here. Same thing with this, you unscrew this. And then you unscrew this. And you notice these are sharp, but they're designed to, to uh, screw through there. Magnetic screwdriver. Just want to get it started. Magnetic screwdriver makes things so much easier when you're dealing with stuff like this. And generally speaking, it'll hold, hold these screws. In this case, these screws don't seem to be very magnetic, so you have to sort of put them in place and then use a screwdriver just to kind of get it there. And then you can kind of screw it a little harder there until you got it. And the screws will screw through the metal here, get it nice and tight. And then you've got these basically good to go. You can put the bottle in here and you can tighten this bolt as needed. Next, we're going to put this in here and we're going to get this set up. Put it at a nice height and angle it up slightly so that items will fit in. You'll have to play around with this Velcro until you get everything 100%, but at least for now, this will help you get started. Now all we have to do left is install this handle. All right, so now we're going to turn this around. You notice you've got this here to help screw and unscrew. So you loosen that a little bit. You insert this here. And you can tighten it like so. And for this here, you can basically raise it to your heart's content. You'll play around with this, and get it exactly the way you want it. All right, that's gonna do it for this quick little unboxing. I'll have to tighten everything down and get it solidified 100%. But so far, I like what I'm seeing. It looks really good. And I'll be using this a lot more often uh, instead of my backpack. Although from time to time, I'll alternate between the two. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.